Good morning, Arson, and Merry Christmas. Um, Thank you. To you as well. Um, big game Monday. What's the team news, please? The team news is that, uh, as you know, that Kosciani will is uh, certainly out for the game. Uh, at 80-90% uh, he's out, and that uh, Jack Wiltshire, of course, is suspended, and everybody else should be available again. Is Lucas Podolski likely to be involved, possibly? He is uh, available to be selected. How big a boost is it to have him back in the side? Well, uh, it's a big boost because he can score goals in big games. He has shown that before. And uh, he's a clinical finisher and a great football player. Is a player coming back from injury, a big player such as that coming back from injury, a, a good injection at this time of year to change things around a little bit? Yes, uh, it is uh, when they have been out for a long time. Of course, it's uh, sometimes difficult to catch the pace of a game back. And uh, it takes a little while because he was out uh, with a big injury. But uh, that will uh, now, I think, uh, is not far away. And, and finally, for me, the game itself, um, how do you assess Chelsea so far this season and how important is this game to us given what happened at the Etihad team? They are a good side uh, with uh, many, many uh, good promising players, very good young players, you know. And uh, I think uh, they have a good offensive potential as well. And uh, for us, it will be important uh, to have a good defensive focus, to find our defensive stability back and to stop them uh, going forward. For the rest, uh, if you look at the name of their players, they in every position they have great players. Hello Arsenal, and Merry Christmas from us as well. Uh, can I ask you first of all, please, uh, for your reaction to what's been going on down at Cardiff, to have an owner write those sort of emails and then invite his manager to resign or be sacked? What are your mm -hmm. thoughts about that? looks strange to me, but honestly, I, I don't know uh, well what's going on there. I have only superficially uh, followed that. Uh, but from outside, I think the manager is doing a very good job there. If he goes, um, you will have been a manager here longer than all the other managers in the league put together. What is the secret of your longevity? There is no uh, real secret other than uh, maybe I was given more time than uh, many other managers. And uh, on my side, I just try to be completely dedicated to my job. But I think every other manager w uh, would do that as well. And uh, I believe, uh, honestly, that uh, with a, apart my case, technical stability is important for football and for the quality of the managers because it uh, to be given time is important first of all when you have a young ma you're a young manager you need to learn the job nobody goes in the job at 33 or 34 years of age and knows the job if he's not given the time somebody else comes in and is the same problem there are some countries where the instability of managers is chronic you know and they have, after what happens you have no quality anymore because people with quality do not go into jobs where they are sacked every three weeks for ridiculous reasons. Mm -hmm. So it is very important for the quality of the game that there is a certain stability. We know all that it's part of our job as well when things don't work. But you have as well uh, to be careful that it's not just based on emotional reactions. You mentioned Jack Wilshire. Is two weeks a little bit harsh because Luis Suarez got one week or something very similar a couple of years ago? Look, yes, uh, we thought it was one. Th the ban was one game, mm. and that's why we appealed. It is two. We have to accept it and to swallow it. And uh, he was wrong in his reaction. We just thought it was one game ban, and that's why uh, we appealed. But we are now in a situation where we have to accept it and uh, wait until co he comes back and focus on our next games without him. Mm. Sure. Awesome. Tough, tough week last week in Naples and then up in Manchester. What have you said to the players this week and what are you expecting to see from them on Monday? Well, you know, uh, quite uh, Naples was a game. We knew always that it was a, a very difficult game. And uh, it was not as negative as uh, Man City because we didn't uh, go out of the Champions League. We qualified for the Champions League 
uh, came out of a group stage. Man City was quite amazingly, uh, despite the fact that it conceded goals, that was a shock for us because we are not used to that. But as well, it uh, was not all negative because we could have scored six as well. And on the offensive front, we have shown that you have huge potential. I believe that we should come out of that game uh, even stronger in our belief, even stronger in our resolute attitude. Because we know we can be, we have shown until now that we can be uh, very strong defensively. And as well, on the day we have shown that we uh, can be dangerous against anybody. We can rectify the defensive problem, but uh, that's what we want to show against Chelsea. It's a key period, obviously, the, the festive period here, but if, if you win on Monday, what will that do, given the start of the season, what will that do for those levels of self-belief going forward? We have self-belief, but uh, I can talk here. Uh, let's show it on Monday night. And uh, what it means is that uh, when you want to play a big part in the race for the championship, you want to win the big games at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what is at stake. We want to respond as well in a very strong manner uh, to our last defeat. And just finally from me, then, it's a season of goodwill as, uh, as we're reminding ourselves. What did you make, though, of Ashley Cole sticking his head round the door at the Christmas party? And mm -hmm. what was the reaction to that, Hudson? <laughs> but uh, they have all the same information about the good restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> As simple as that. Arsene, um, have recent results um, the last couple of weeks or so, have they affected the morale in the camp here? No. They have uh, been disappointing for us, but uh, I don't think they have affected the morale. We have, uh, we have made good results until now because we have a good solidarity level and a good togetherness in the squad. And uh, I don't see any sign of that dropping. I think even more the players are focused uh, to respond well on Monday night. It can happen that in a season where you have sometimes a little bit a weaker period. It's how you respond to this kind of problems that, uh, that matters and we have uh, that, uh, that's what we want to show on Monday night. How much personally do you enjoy locking horns with somebody like Jose Mourinho? Look, it's not a personal battle. Uh, honestly, uh, uh, we had some uh, big uh, games and uh, uh, in the past, but what is important for me, I'm completely focused on on Arsenal Football Club and on my team and doing well in the team. Do we play Monday night against Chelsea or anybody else? For me, it's exactly the same because what is at stake for us is come back uh, to winning habits. And uh, is it Chelsea or anybody else? J Jamie Carragher this week has been very complimentary to you and to Jose, saying that you've revolutionised the um, Premier League. What, what did you make of that? Do, do you think that's... It's a big compliment, but I don't have that feeling. You don't have that feeling? No, I, I, I don't uh, feel that I revolutionised the English game at all. I just uh, try to do well for my club since I have arrived. Sometimes I manage to do it, sometimes a bit less. With, with the business this week about so many managers losing their jobs or mm -hmm. about to lose their jobs, from your lofty position, looking down as it were, do you sympathise with those guys? With everyone, because uh, you need to be a manager to know how much you suffer. Uh, you know, uh, how, many how many sleepless nights are behind every manager and uh, how much everybody wants to win. And uh, of course you feel sympathy for, for people who lose their job. Because I suppose they, they become friends of yours, do they? Do they become friends of yours when they're, they're in the job for long? Not necessarily or? friends, because I do not uh, speak specially uh, with them, but in an ideal world you want everybody to be happy and the manager who is sacked is an unhappy person and uh, who feels somewhere that he failed and uh, thinks just about what have I done wrong uh, to deserve that. That's uh, what how it is. Is it important for you to be top at Christmas? Does that mean anything to you? It means uh, something to be top. Uh, Christmas or any other day, uh, that is what matters. Yeah. Uh, and just one final point, um, again you've been linked this week with various players in the press, um, obviously I don't expect you to comment on the speculation about that, but do you feel that in the January transfer market you're, you're going to be a busy arson? At the moment, uh, no. But that can change. <laughs> <laughs> 
also, what is it about Jose Mourinho's teams that you found difficult to beat? Uh, they, he had fantastic teams, you know, and uh, he's a good manager, and uh, that together makes it difficult. I think we were close many times, but uh, uh, they had. Uh, let's not forget when we won the championship in 2004, Chelsea finished second, and uh, we had an unbeaten uh, season, and uh, they just finished. Uh, at the time, Ranieri was behind, uh, was the manager, and they just finished second. Mourinho came in, and uh, they brought uh, Drogba, Carvalho, uh, and uh, they were even stronger. And uh, he is uh, as well a very good manager. That, that uh, they had a fantastic period. Has he changed? Do you think as a manager since he came back to England? I don't know. We should ask him that. Uh, all right, respectful. Is he somebody that you would spend spend any time with? Or? Yeah, why not? You know, we spend time uh, in Geneva at the uh, managers' meetings, and uh, once you're in the competition, it's different. Once you're out of competition, you can, uh, of course, uh, uh, everybody's different. But uh, here is competition time, so everybody fights for his team and for his club. Look, if you look uh, purely at the mathematical problem, yes, because he has the highest percentage rate of wins historically at the club. Uh, so, I believe uh, is it an internal problem of relationship with uh, his chairman or with the board? I don't know. Is it an emotional reaction to a big defeat at home? I hope not, because uh, uh, that would not be a good sign. So, I don't know, but I was surprised, yes. When you lose your best player and you sign seven new ones, mm -hmm. surely you need a bit longer, don't you? You need, a bit time. you need time, yes. Look, uh, when I said to you at the beginning of the season, when you sign more than three players, you have to take always a technical risk, you were all uh, laughing at me. but. Uh, it is a, a reality. What does it say about the difference between the two North London clubs that Tottenham are looking for their 10th permanent manager now in the time that you've been? I don't know what it means. Uh, the for sure, that uh, is a difference of, uh, of uh, philosophy. And uh, both can work, you know. So I do not, I'm not a specialist. Uh, uh, of Tottenham at all. I'm just focused on uh, doing things right for my club. Just one more on, on Jack and the, and the ban, Arsene. Do you think that the FA need to clamp down more on examples of, say, when a player isn't given a decision, he turns around and others expletives straight in the referee's face, that gets broadcast live. Shouldn't that be a straight red card and a two match ban? Yes. Uh, do you want the consistency in the punishment? Do you want unfair behaviour to be punished? Yes. Mm -hmm. do, do, you th do, you think if, if that, do you think that's an enforceable rule? If they said, well, if anybody uses the F word to the referee, it's a red card, would that, would that stop it? Or you, could have a, like, you could have a match abandoned because everybody swears. The players it. adapt. You know, they are intelligent people. They adapt and they, they uh, always test uh, the board. How far can I go? And uh, so it's just uh, one thing. They look, uh, they look at others, and they see how the referees respond, and they adapt. If the referees are consistent in doing that, they will stop it. But you want consistency. You mentioned before Arsenal could have the psychological edge of being top, but is there also a concern that if results don't go against you, the position you could be in, and the impact that? might then have, because suddenly from being in a point where you could have been seven points clear, you could actually be into fourth place and almost Everton are, uh, are closing up. Yes, so that can happen as well, but uh, that will not change our... We have decided to fight until the last uh, day of the season and uh, look back at the championship and think we have given it all. And uh, do we are we first or fourth? That will not change. And uh, that's a promise we have made, and uh, that's where we can show that we are men who really mean it, who can commit to a project and uh, go for it until the last day of the season.
Can I just say about Theo Walcott's return and what extra options you think he will give to you and the team? He uh, is a player who, of course, can give us depth uh, with his runs and give us space <laughs> to find him behind the defenders. He can score goals. And uh, I believe as a team player, he's improving, and that's uh, uh, what he can show as well. Awesome. When, you, when you look back at 2013, who do you think has been the best all round player for Arsenal? I don't know, but uh, uh, you would say that uh, <laughs> some players have improved uh, tremendously, like Ramsey, like Koscielny, uh, like uh, Chesney. They are all uh, going forward, you know, uh, very well. But all the others, I, I, I'm very happy with the behaviour of the whole team in 2013, uh, because we have been very consistent in 2013. 2012, a bit less. Aaron Ramsey, in particular, a fan would probably point and say he's probably been the biggest influence in the well, season. Maybe because he was more questioned than anybody else uh, a year ago. And uh, today, nobody questions his talent. Oh, moi, j'étais content euh, de jouer parce que j'aime faire des matchs de foot, que ce soit à Boxing Day ou ou à un autre jour, ça. J'ai trouvé ça original et intéressant. Et à l'époque, est-ce qu'il y avait encore cette histoire de prise en partie des lois Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que tu as découvert, que tu as subi quelque part Oui, il y avait beaucoup de... Il y avait même euh, des équipes, quand on les jouait le 26, elles étaient bien, bien fatiguées. Euh, ça, ça a changé depuis. <rire> le comportement est devenu beaucoup plus professionnel.